How do you do Javad is here and in this video I'm going to explore and introduce you five top software and plugin that you can export or you can render uh, your Revit models into them and you can create realistic renderings, animation, virtual reality and some other uh, deliverables. And make sure to watch till the end of the video because we will have a ranking. I'm not going to expose it right here but we will rank them and we will give you the best recommendation that we have for your Revit software. The first one is Lumion and the pros and each of them has pros as cons but uh, pros of Lumion are for example you can create realistic renderings and after that you can create a great integration between your CAD or BIM software and Lumion and it is easy to export your models in Lumion and work with it. And also you have animated objects and materials into it and you can create walking people, uh, uh, cars with movement and you can import some animations too. And after that, when you are creating your renders, you have access to lots of effects and it will create, uh, you can create different moods with just some effect. And at the end, if, you, if your design change, don't worry about that because you easily can change the uh, model just with reloading and you don't lose any of your work for rendering parts. But at the other hand, we have cons too. For example, if you want to create rendering, great rendering with Lumion, you need a high-end PC, especially you need a good uh, GPU card. And at the other hand, the default material library is not that great. If you want to create photorealistic rendering, you need to uh, create your own materials. And also we have, uh, we have another part that we will uh, give you the price for each software. And when we come to the price of Lumion, we need to say, <coughs> it is expensive, man. You have to pay for the per version about $3,200 and you need to pay $1,600 for the standard version. And we can say that's expensive, Lumion. The second one is Two in Motion, which you can say it is a child of Unreal Engine and Epic Games just bought it. And they are really similar with uh, Lumion, but we can say it is a lower quality version of Lumion. And it has fewer options in comparison with the uh, Lumion, for, but we have pros and cons, so let's talk about them. For the pros, we can say it is really easy to use and you can learn it so fast. And, uh, and also, if you have a great season change system, you can just change your uh, weather from uh, being, if your uh, season from being in spring to uh, uh, winter, and it will give you a whole new uh, team to your uh, scene with just one click. The other option that is my favorite is phasing. You can simulate the construction process, not with the timeline, but you can simulate it with the phasing version and it will give you a great idea and your team a great idea about the construction process. And we can give a kudos to the great library of Twin Motion, and I like the library and diversification of it. And that's the pros that we have. But on the other hand, we have some cons too. I just only see one big problem in Twin Motion and that is the low quality, lower quality you will get in comparison with the time that you are allocating to create renders in another software in comparison with uh, using some uh, other plugins like Enscape that you can, can just click and you will have your renders in Revit. And for the pricing, you can say it's almost free, but with some condition. If you want to use for, for free as long as you want, you can use it for commercial use and it, it isn't licensed for commercial use. And also for the export parameters, you only can export your rendering up to 2K resolution. And if you're uh, a student or teacher, you can get it for free with all of the features, but you can use it for commercial use. But if you want to use it for commercial use, you need to pay $499 for a year. And the next one is my favorite one, and that is Enscape. Enscape is great for Revit user because it is fast and easy. You just need one click, and then you will have your render and it will give you a good render, but with spending more time, you will have better ones 
two. And on the other hand, we have asset library that we can use high quality objects in Revit environment. And also we have a material library that will make our work much easier in some uh, situations that we don't have time to create each material by ourselves. And also if you have an RTX graphic card, you can get a great shadows and reflections with enabling RTX features of Enscape. But on the other hand, for the cons, we have limited number of assets, but don't worry, ECS is here to enrich your Enscape library and you can get 10 free Enscape assets by going to the link in the description right now. And also we ha I have to say that we don't have any animation in Enscape, for example, you can have a walking person or walking persona, and also you can have a, mo a movable car or something like that. The only animations that you have in your Enscape, you have wind animation for your foliage and for your water and those kind of places. And for the prices, we can say it is not that high and it is a reasonable price for the uh, value that you are getting. And we have two different licenses in Enscape. We have float and we have fix. For the float version, you have to pay about $900. And for the uh, fixed, uh, fixed seat version, you have to pay about $500. If this video has been helpful so far, please don't forget to like this video and it will help YouTube to reach this video to more people. The fourth one is D5 Render and I have a video about that on my channel too. You can go and watch that after this video. I will put the link in the description. D5 Render is great for high quality renders, especially if you care about the lighting and shadows and real-time ray tracing. We can say it is one of the best options that we have and we have some great features too. You can go and check their features too. And also another feature that I like is the weather system. As a twin motion, we have that in here too. You can change the mood of your scene, just one click and you can change the season really easily. But at the other hand, we need a high-end PC and we need an RTX graphic card to work properly with DeFi renderer. And also, it, the lack of assets or we can say object is really obvious in this uh, software because it's an early software. I think we are in uh, 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 early versions of this software. It's not that old as other software. So, and they are on a fast pace. Uh, progress, I think they can achieve to great things and great results in future years. And for the price, we can say you can start free, but uh, if you want to have higher resolution exports, and also if you want to get access to the ready to use assets of this company, you need just need to pay about $360 for a year. The next one is Unreal Engine 5 and it is one of my favorite ones. In Unreal Engine 5, you can do anything that you can imagine and even you can't imagine. So you can do anything in Unreal Engine. You can create virtual realities. You can create interactive, interactive guys. It is really amazing. It will immerse your uh, clients in the model and in the design that you have made. This is really immersive in comparison with the other ones and you can create great interactive experience for your clients. And also if you want to uh, be able to work for some other industries or even in our architectural industries, but in other majors like Metaverse and designing for Metaverse and modeling and rendering for Metaverse, the Unreal Engine 5 is another great option for that because it's a original, it is a game engine. It's not an architectural rendering engine, but it will uh, give you a good service for your architectural visualization too. But at the other hand, in the con section, it is a little bit harder to learn and it can be confusing at the first time. But after a few months, you will get familiar and it will be much enjoyable. And another great thing that I love about Unreal Engine is it is free, guys. With all of these great features, it is free. And also, I need to mention that you have great uh, lighting features like lumen and the night lighting features in Unreal Engine 5. Now it's time to achieve a conclusion. We can say 
Enskip and Unreal Engine is the best options and is our, they are best choices for you. You can use Enscape for fast and easy works and you can get a good uh, render, but you can use Unreal Engine for better and photorealistic renders and you can create also interactive uh, experiences too. Then I think the D5, we can put it in, uh, ha uh, the, uh, we can say it has a great future ahead and we can count on it in future but for twin motion I'm on so so mode because as I said for the time that you are putting in you don't get a really that amazing uh, results you can get better results with Unreal Engine and D5 and for the Lumion as I said it is great it is easy to use but the price point is really hi and also if you want to learn about how to import and export your models to unreal engine 5 make sure to watch this video in here and make sure to like this video i will see you on the next session